Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. It is... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't actually have my watch on me. It is Sunday, the 31st of May, the last day in May, my I add. And we've got another Streetwear Talk episode where we talk about the latest streetwear news, streetwear releases, and just streetwear in general. In today's episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be covering... Uh, a whole section of a collection today and it'll be a multi-part series where we'll cover different sections in different episodes and in today's episode we're going to be covering all of the hoodies that are releasing in Alice's summer 2020 collection Okay, so just quickly, I'm going to fix that and put my watch on because I actually forgot to put it on this morning. But uh, yes, guys, in today's video, we're going to be covering all the hoodies that are releasing in the Summer 2020 collection or Palace's, um, yeah, Palace's Summer 2020 collection. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted on the watch. Yes, so uh, normally I do a video covering the whole Palace collection. Whenever Palace releases a new collection, I usually cover the whole thing in its entirety. It's like me talking about like 60 plus pieces in one video. The video normally goes for like, I want to say like an hour. And I just think that's a little bit too long. And we're going to be talking about pieces in that hour long video. That people aren't essentially interested in. So I thought I'd change it up for this season. For this summer 2020 season, we are going to talk about the individual sections Kind of like how I did for the Supreme season uh, for their Spring Summer 2020 collection. So in today's episode, we're going to do that first part of the series, which is talking about the hoodies. The hoodies that are releasing in the Summer 2020 collection. I thought this would just be a better way to handle and cover the whole Palace 2020 collection. And then you guys can watch the parts that you are interested in and you don't have to watch me drone on for like an hour. Yes, the best way to cover all the hoodies that are releasing this season is literally me just going through the whole Summer range on the Palace web store and picking out all the hoodies. So we're, we're going to do that and then I'll cover... That's how I'm going to cover them. That's how I'm going to cover them. But um, if you guys like this idea, if you like me just covering the certain sections of the collections, uh, definitely let me know. Let me know in that comment section below. Leave a like on this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Just give me some indicators because I don't know if you guys want me to do like a full hour long video of me talking about the whole collection or little separate parts covering the different sections of the collection. I personally think this is a better way to go about doing it. But um. That's all I've really got to say. That's really what the episode is going to be about today. So without further ado, let's head on over to Palace's web store and have a look at the first hoodie that is in Palace's summer 2020 collection. So to start it off, we have the classic fix quarter zip in a black. Now, it's weird. It's a weird hoodie, this one. This one incorporates elements that are traditional in jackets, in like knits, in like sweaters, but puts it into a a hoodie, which kind of throws me off. Because, And what I mean by that is this quarter zip here and this like more ribbed uh, neckline or this more, I don't even know how to describe it, this longer neckline. That's something more traditional in like, you know, um, as I said, sweaters, knits, um, what are they called? Turtlenecks, things like that. And it's really weird to actually see it on a hoodie. It's, um, it's different. I initially thought that this was a jacket when I was scrolling through the images on the Palace um, Summer 2020 range, but it's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. It's got a kangaroo pouch. It's got ribbed um, cuffs there. It, it, it's definitely a hoodie. Uh, it comes in black. Ooh, a white, a gray, and just black. So three colors, black, white, and gray. Personally, um, if they removed the quarter zip from this piece, I think this would be a sick basics piece. You know, I think this would be a piece that would be really good for layering. You know, you wear it, you could wear a jacket over the top of it, uh, but it would also look quite nice by itself. I, I feel like this hoodie is getting let down because of that zip. Am I the only one? Do you guys feel the same way about this hoodie? It's um, a shame because yeah, it's, it's actually just a really nice piece. I actually like the white one the most. I think the branding and the colors on the branding pop the most on the white hoodie. 
Um, the grey one, it's alright, but I think I like the white colour a little bit more. Um, yeah, out of all three of the colours, I would say the white's definitely my favourite. But I would not be looking to pick this up just because of that zip. That zip is literally the deciding factor that's like got me like, you know what? I'm actually not too keen on it, <laughs> but m maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Um, how do you guys feel about this piece? It's a, it's not an awful piece to start off the hoodies that are releasing this season, but we'll head on head on over to the second hoodie in the season and have it have a look at it. Whoo! Okay, okay. Um, interesting pattern. Interesting pattern. So next we have the peeled hood in. Uh, it's in a desert um color first but i'm sure there's going to be other colors that are a lot more palatable and a lot more nicer we have the peeled hood in a desert um i don't mind this one the designs are not too bad the overall design isn't too bad but it's the color that's throwing me off here i'm not a huge fan of the desert color here uh on the back we have the triferg logo on the left breast we have the triferg logo as well the color, it's not, it's not nice. But moving on, yeah, this is nicer. I like this like smoky gray mixed with the white. This is a lot nicer. Yep, I like this color. This one's nice as well. Ooh, but that blue though. Ooh, it's like a nice sky, isn't it? It's a nice sky blue. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think the first color definitely lets the hoodie down. Not really a fan of the desert color, but the gray is really nice. And the blue is really nice as well. I don't think there's a fourth. No, there's not a fourth color. Okay, so yeah. Out of all the colors here, I would say the gray or the blue would definitely be my preference for this hoodie this season. But um, I don't know. Maybe you guys like the desert one. Maybe you're a fan of the desert one. Uh, let me know in that comment section below which one's your favorite color. But the peeled hood, I would say this is a very solid piece. Um, I like two out of three of the colors. But let's move on to hoodie number three in Palace's Summer 2020 collection. Ooh <laughs> now this, this piece, ooh, this is one of my most favorite pieces from this season. And if you guys want me to do like a top five favorite pieces of the Palace 2020 collection, I could probably do that after I cover all the individual little sections here from the season. But man what a solid piece right like what a solid hoodie this one hasn't released yet uh we've only had three weeks of palace's summer 2020 collection so it might be coming out this week we honestly don't know um it is the hesh mint fresh hood in pink but it does come in other colors if you don't like the hot pink i actually kind of like the details standing out on the hot pink it's just would i wear hot pink a lot like would this hoodie get a lot of wear i totally don't know like that's the thing um i will have to see if there's there's definitely going to be other colors but there might be another color that's a little bit more palatable a little bit more consumable that i might be able to love and enjoy but i love the little graphics they're all embroidered i think it doesn't actually say in the description because palace just gives us a bunch of mumbo jumbo down below instead of a description of the actual hoodie but i think all these little uh designs are embroidered which just you know just steals the deal um on the back it's got a snake and barbed wire coiling around the triferg logo it's all embroidered this is like the best piece this season if not one of the best like it's just amazing uh it comes in a white and it looks so good in the white man Whew. i do you know what's really sad I, I i explained it in the in the drop list videos but i work when palace does their weekly drops and this piece is gonna sell out straight away. I'm I'm gonna just have to cop it at work. I'm gonna have to sneakily go on my phone and just like cop it because like, look at this piece. This is insane. Uh, it's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I love this white color. Um, I, there's gonna be a third color, right? Ooh, they played it safe. They did it in a black. They did it in a black. Not a huge fan of the black gonna be real i think the colors and the actual designs pop out a lot more in brighter colors but the black's nice it's nice it's simple this is a sick piece this is a sick piece so it only really comes out in three colors hot pink white or black i would say my favorite color is the white uh the hot pink's not too bad it's just like as i said I don't think I would wear hot pink a lot, and I don't think I have a lot of opportunities. I do need to get around hot pink more, so maybe this is my time to shine and pick up a hot pink one, but... 
would I do it to myself? Either way, this is an awesome piece. Uh, easily one of my favorite pieces this season. Uh, let me know if you guys feel the same way in that comment section below. But this is just steezy. Uh, would love to pick this up. Hopefully it drops next week. Uh, well, hopefully it actually doesn't drop next week. Because there's a lot of pieces. Like, 4444 might be dropping a bunch of pieces. Um, Del Schutze might finally get around to dropping something. So, maybe just hold this out for a couple more weeks, Palace. So then I can buy it without the competition. <laughs> but yeah, awesome piece. I will move on to the next hoodie in the collection, which is hoodie 4. And see what's popping. Okay. Okay, so next we've got the taper hood in a sand color. I don't actually mind this one. This one's not too bad. It's got a strip that goes all the way down from <clears throat> the chest cut there all the way down. It's got palace in the center of the chest there. And it comes down to where the pockets are. And then the pockets are sealed with a button. It's not bad. I actually don't mind it. Um, Does it have anything on the back? No, no. It, it, it's, it's a nice little layering piece. Done in a nice color. I like the sand color. Does it come in other colors too? It does. It comes in a very washed out blue. Very, very washed out here. Uh, this is nice as well though. They've got some nice colors for this hoodie. I've got to say, they've done well. Um, is there another? And yeah, just to play it safe black. I like that they've kept the strips that are on the chest black as well. Uh, man, all three of these colors are super solid, man. I, I would say they've done really well so far this season on the hoodies. Um, these are sick. These are honestly really sick, man. I Yeah, wow. This is an awesome piece. I would love it in almost any color. Um, with my preference, probably going to the blue one. The blue one's probably my favorite. But yeah, this is a nice piece. Uh, we'll move on to the next hoodie, though. Not much else to really say about it. It's just clean, clean, clean. Uh, we'll move on to hoodie number... I think we're up to five now? Yeah, I think hoodie number five in this collection. Uh, let's have a look. Hoodie number five. Now, we've already seen this being released. Uh, this one has already released. It is the felt hood uh, this one came in multiple different colors um, I remember in the drop list I critiqued this as being just a very good um, layering piece you know branding's not heavily done it's not over the top it's just a nice little P nice little palace on the hood it's clean it's easy to wear just a bunch of colors you know if you want some basic palace hoodies that are good for layering you know chuck it under some um, jackets and stuff like that uh, this is this is your go-to. This is your go-to. It comes in a lot of different colors. It comes in red, it comes in yellow, it comes in gray, uh, it comes in green, and it also comes in a white and a black. Lots of colors. Lots of colors to choose from. I like the combinations of color for the branding. Uh, I think the green here works really well on the white. The white works really well on the green here. The red works really well on the gray. Uh, the blue works really well on the yellow. It's just really well done. It's a really well done hoodie. Uh, awesome piece. Awesome piece this season. I would honestly pick it up in every color. If Palace was like, hey, Daniel, you want the uh, felt P hoodie in every color, extra large, I'd be like, bro, yes, please. These are absolutely amazing. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, awesome piece. Uh, we'll move on to hoodie number six and see what see what's getting released this season. Okay, so we actually just talked about this one on the channel when we were doing the drop list for week three because um, Yeah, uh, well this this hoodie was definitely the one of the highlights of week three for me And that if you haven't seen the drop list for week three It's pretty self-explanatory on how well week three went week three was definitely a quiet week um, But I didn't mind this one um, the palace uh, minute AOP hood in either blue or white I like this hoodie this hoodie actually wasn't too bad um, but yeah, week three was definitely a quiet week. I don't know if these guys sold out on the store page. You'd have to check. I doubt it, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, this is a, this was an okay piece. Um, yeah, week three was just very disappointing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like this one. If it's still available, I'm trying to not cop a lot of clothing at the moment. I'm trying to hold out for pieces that I've been on the hunt for for ages. Or upcoming releases like Del Schutze releases or um, uh, 4444 releases. You know, I'm trying to hold out. I'm trying to hold out. So I'm, if, if like this was available and I saw that it was available, I think I would hold off from copying just because I'm looking to pick those upcoming releases up, you know? Um, but yeah, going back to this piece, it's an awesome piece. I don't mind it. I would wear something like this. This is wacky. This is fun. It's pretty unique. I think it's a good time, um, but we'll move on to hoodie number seven and uh, see what's releasing this season. 
So for hoodie number seven, we have the Tri Pumping Hood in a green. Uh, I think this one released in week one from memory. It's the iconic um, Tri Fog logo, but done in pumps with Palace um, stuck in between the coils of the pump. It was an all right piece. Um, it's just a pretty basic one. I think it's still available on the store in a lot of the colors, actually. It, it didn't pop off with a lot of the community by the looks of it, but it's a pretty basic palace hoodie. Um, I, I don't think I'd pick this up unless I was like doing a big palace haul and I was like, you know what? This navy one comes in an XL. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. I'll pity pick it up. <laughs> But yeah, nah, it's just, yeah, it's not doing much, you know? It's it's kind of like, ah, that's cool. It's not like the Hesh uh, Skull hoodie where I lost my marbles. This is kind of just like, yeah, yeah. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you think this is a really underrated piece. I don't know. Let me know in that comment section below, but it's not doing much for me. It's it's all right. It's all right. I will move on to hoodie number eight, though. And um, yeah, give it a geese. Ooh, okay, okay, I see you here. I see you here, Tritex Hood. I see you here. This is this is nice. This is nice. Basic little white hood. Palace Trifoglogo on the breast. But then it's repeated on the back in this really cool, like yeah, like 3D pattern kind of looking um, pattern all over it. I like this. I like this in the white. This is nice. Nice. Ooh, that yellow? Not, not too bad. I still prefer it in the white. The navy? The navy's okay. The navy's okay too. And got it in grey as well. The grey's alright. The grey's... Ooh, jeez. We got it in a green as well. Eh, green's not doing too much for me. Comes in a black. Black's okay. No, I think for me it's the white. Definitely the white. Yeah, it's, it's popping on the white. I like the white uh, palace text coming through on the actual logo here. This is nice. I like this hood. Yeah, give this to me in a white and I'll definitely cop. For sure. Yeah, this is nice. Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say. The other colors aren't too bad, but like the actual design kind of gets lost with some of the colors. Um, like the yellow here. See how the design on the actual, like especially on the navy here, it just gets kind of lost. Um, and that's why I kind of like the white one because it doesn't get lost as much. Yeah, I like this hoodie. This is a nice hoodie. Uh, we'll move on to the, I think we're up to the last hoodie actually, the ninth hoodie uh, that's coming out this season. So um, let's have a look. Uh, let's give it a geese and see if this is the last hoodie this season. Okay, now from what I could find, this was the last hoodie that is releasing this season. I went through all the pieces and, you know, found them all and I could only find nine hoodies. So this is the ninth hoodie that is releasing this season. Uh, it's probably my least favorite one. I would literally pick up any of the pullover hoodies over a zip-up hoodie. I just can't do zip-up hoodies, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but this color's nice. The navy color's nice. There's nothing on the back. You get a little triferg above the kangaroo pouch pocket here. But it's not even a real kangaroo pouch because it's got a zip going through because zip-up hoodies ruin it. <laughs> I'm just really anti-zip-up hoodies, guys. I just can't do it. And they picked such nice colors for it as well. Gray, ah, oh, that's a shame. If they literally removed the zip from this hoodie, this would have been a really, really nice piece. And it's really sad that we have to end this video on such a downing a downer note, because I reckon this would have been a very nice piece, very nice layering piece. They just removed that zip. Alice, how could you do it to us? How could you do it to us? Such killer pullover hoodies, and then you have to dump a zip up hoodie on us, man. That's not okay. <laughs> but that is all the hoodies that I could find in the Palace Summer 2020 range, uh, and that is releasing this season. So, fellas, ladies, non-conforming, um, non-binary people out there, what's your favorite hoodie? Which one do you like from this season? What's your least favorite? What's your most favorite? Have you copped any of them this season so far? Or are you now looking to cop some of them this season after seeing some of the hoodies that are releasing this season? I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And if you don't know the links for those three socials, they're down in the description. Let me know down there. And also let me know in that comment section below. That's it though, guys. That is 
all of the hoodies, at least that I could find, not including collaborations if Palace decides to collab, um, that are releasing in Palace's Summer 2020 collection. Uh, let me know, what's your favourite hoodie that's releasing this season? What's your least favourite hoodie that's releasing this season? Have you picked any up? Let me know, let me know in that comment section below. I would say my favourite's probably going to be the Hesh Skull one. That one is just, just amazing. It's just amazing. Can we all agree? It's just amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to continue doing this like part series for Palace. I think it's a lot more digestible, a lot more enjoyable than me just covering the whole season in a block. But maybe you disagree with me on that. Uh, seriously, let me know in that comment section below. And if you guys do like me doing this, don't forget to leave this video a big old like, comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel because I know we only have today left for May, but we are trying to hit 2,240 subs just before the month ends just before it ends guys we're like seven subs off we're like seven or six subs off you guys are amazing thank you to everyone that has been subbing recently tell your friends about the channel tell your family about the channel if your dog's got a youtube account because i know some people have instagram accounts for their dogs so maybe some people have like youtube accounts for their dogs get their get your dog to subscribe to the channel <laughs> Get everyone to subscribe to the channel and then we can hit 2,240 subs before the end of May. And that would just be absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you for the continuous support. You guys are wonderful people. Thank you to everyone that's watching the videos up until this point. It all matters. It all, you know, all the likes, all the comments, all the watch time. It all makes that difference. So thank you for your continuous support. You're wonderful people out there. Stay safe. Stay safe. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend even if you are in quarantine i hope you're having a wonderful weekend but that's everything i gotta say about all the hoodies that are releasing this season as a part of palace's summer 2020 collection so until the next palace video until the next streetwear video until the next drop list video guys i'll catch you later